Hey y'all, happy Saturday, uh, November 18th, non-stop vlogging for November. So, I apologize that I'm not upbeat and I'm not doing the, you know, beautiful day in the moon and all that bullshit, but I am very annoyed right now and I can't hide it. And if I didn't have to come on here and do this video, I wouldn't because I am so freaking annoyed right now with that man that I, I married now. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, now in his defense, I might, I might as well go ahead and say maybe I'm a little, like, for some reason when I'm a week or so before I get ready to have my monthly, I get, like, irritable. Like, I get annoyed and, like, every little thing just irritates the crap out of me. So that might be part of it, but, but still, I'm annoyed. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So, this is this is just called real life, okay? I gotta keep it real, keep it 100, because, you know, I can't hide it. <laughs> but I gotta come on here and do this, because this is what I promised y'all um, that I was going to do. So, um, the first thing I want to talk about is... Okay, speaking of menstrual cycles... Um, I found this young lady on YouTube. Well, yeah, it's a young lady that was commenting under my video. And she was saying, you know, something that she said that really, you know, touched me. And a lot of times, like, I get so many comments that I don't always click on the person's um, picture to see if they actually do videos. I really wish that I would because I found a whole lot of really good YouTubers that was commenting on my channels on my videos and I didn't even know they did YouTube videos like I didn't even know they were on YouTube I knew I just thought they were just you know subbies and people that comment but um sometimes I get a chance to actually click on a person's comment on their picture and find out that they do videos so this one particular lady's been commenting lately and I decided to click on her her picture and lo and behold she does videos and she's an excellent vlogger. Like, I love excellent vloggers. And um, I'm going to give you her name because, you know, it's all about uplifting people and, you know, just trying to help people to grow. That's what we're supposed to do, you know, as human beings, try to help each other. You know, a lot of times, believe it or not, y'all, people will prey on your downfall, okay? If, if, if you, and this is just like a little advice for anybody who is thinking about starting YouTube or is new to the YouTube streets, okay? Just know that everybody is not is not here for you. Everybody is not cheering for you and rooting for your success here on YouTube or just in general in life. It's, they're not rooting for your marriage to work. They're not rooting for your kids to turn out right. They're not rooting for you to be successful. Like they, some people literally pray. And when I say pray, I mean pray. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Spirit, or amen, they pray on your downfall, and people look forward to that. So, with that in mind, you just know that, you know, you got to stay strong, you got to have confidence, and, you know, you just got to do what you did, and don't let nobody try to, you know, through the comments or, or, or otherwise try to bring you down. And that's why I say, you know, we got to uplift. We got to uplift each other, especially as women, you know. And um, the young lady, um, let me just give you her name, and then I will tell you, uh, if you follow me on Facebook and on Instagram, um, not Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and Google, because I shared it on all three places. Her name is Lovely Jackson, and I'm going to just give you like a little brief of what the video was about, and then you could just go over and watch it. Like, I, it really... <laughs> She shared a lot of good information, and I think a lot of women need to hear what she said because it may answer some questions as to something that you may be going through. Because I've talked to my doctor about any all any and all of my issues, but after watching her video and hearing her say some of the things she was saying, I was like, hmm, I need to call my doctor and get an appointment. Um, her name, did I say it already? I apologize, y'all. My mind is just so somewhere else, but I was not going to not come on here. But, you know, y'all know I'm human and y'all know I have problems just like anybody else. Just because I'm on YouTube don't mean I don't have real life issues. Now, I may not always come on and share 
my real life issues or when I'm upset or when I'm down or whatever's going on. But, you know, because you share what you choose to share, but I'm, I'm human. And, and when you do nonstop vlogging, that's what people are going to get. That's, that's why I was saying the other day, you know, no matter whether you feel up, down, sad, depressed, happy, you know, whatever you're going through, it's going to show if you do everyday uh, vlogging. It's just called keeping it real and keeping it all the way 100. But anyway, um, so let me give you the name of the video and then I'm going to link the video in her name below. So that way, if y'all want to go over and check it out, women share the video because it's a lot of good information within that one video that can really help a lot of women so the video is called it's called must watch and it's, it says the reason i've been mia which means missing in action um and it says no judgment so like i said i'll link it below but definitely go over and check her out um it says no judgmental viewers is what it says. So there you have it. Um, Lovely Jackson. Very excellent blogger. Okay. Now another young lady that I want to uh, share. Uh, I want to give them a shout out as well. There's a young lady on YouTube named Pink Nini. And she did a video. Um, an ASMR video. For those of you who don't know what ASMR is. It's Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And you can Google it if, you know, you want to get, like, more in-depth information about it. Um, but, yeah, she did her very first ASMR video today, and I was so proud. Like, I'm, I'm always happy about people that try new things. I love when people get out the box and try new things, okay? It's not about copying or any of that thing, because she made me, she was doing it live. And when I came in, she was like, you know, hey, I'm right now. You know, I'm not copying, but I'm just trying this. And, and, and my thing is, it's, it's not copying. Because before I started doing ASMR, it was a million people that was already doing it on YouTube. Like, this was already, a, this was already um, a thing on YouTube. Um, and nobody came and said, oh, you copying off the of source. So how are you copying? It's like so many people that's doing it. And if you want to incorporate that into your channel to try to get your channel to grow, because ASMR is really popular there. ASMR and mukbang videos. Mukbang is where you actually eat on camera and talk to the people. That stuff is getting very, very popular now. So I'm not, I want everybody that's interested in it to try it. And don't, don't ever not try something just because you feel like people are going to say you're copying. At the end of the day, everything that anybody ever does on YouTube has been done before. Okay? So if you look at somebody's video and you say, oh, they copying off of me. Well, guess what? It's a hundred thousand other people that can look at you and say you were copying because they were doing it first. So just do you. That's what I tell everybody. Just do you and don't worry about what people say. People are going to, they're going to complain no matter what she did. Okay? So, um, she did her very first ASMR video. It was hilarious, y'all. And she did she did really good considering it was her first time. It, you know, that's not, you know, that's not something that's easy to do if you're not, you know, like used to doing it. I remember my very first uh, ASMR video. And I'm telling you, you would have thought that it was a sex line uh, channel or sex channel. Because, girl, I was on there licking lollipops and, you know, because I thought it was, I thought, I thought... Even though I had Googled it and researched it a little bit, I thought it was like sensual and sexy. And it can be. But, you know, and, and one of my good, good girlfriends who, um, you know, was helping me when I got started, um, I did my first video and I looked to her, you know, for her advice. I was like, sis, check the video out my first time. Well, she knew it was my first time because we had discussed it. And I said, tell me if I'm doing it right. Because she was a person who liked Tingle. So she knew, you know. And she watched it and she said it was good, but it was too too sexual. And, you know, that was constructive criticism coming from somebody who had my back. You know, it wasn't just no, no, you know, a lot of people can come at you sideways. And a lot of people can throw shade at you and then try to hook on the oh, this is just constructive criticism, or I don't mean any harm, or I'm not trying to be mean. Mm -mm, no, because if you really wasn't trying to shade somebody and be nasty or, or try to make them look bad, you would go to them privately 
and say certain things, either through email or DM message, you know, direct message or Instagram. Like, there's so many different ways that you can be critical in a constructive way without really trying to embarrass somebody. So you got to be careful with people that say they just giving you constructive criticism. Uh, yeah, you got to be careful with that. There's a thin line between constructive criticism and shade and hate. So you got to be careful with that. But yeah, I, I can trust it. I value her opinion. And because she has tried to help me in so many ways. So I asked her and, you know, so like I said, you know, you learn. So like I say, my first video was my first one. I took I took that it was like a sexual type of, you know, licking a lollipop and, you know, sucking your fingers. And, you know, like, and it, it's really not, like, I had to learn. So, um, so definitely go over and watch it. I will link her channel below. Um, her name is Pink Nene. And let me give you the exact name of the video so that you all can watch it. So go over and support her. You know, she's new at this. She's trying something new on her channel. And I'm all for people that are trying to get out that box. And, and don't worry about what people say. Bump all that copy and stuff. Because at the end of the day, if you want to be honest, we all copy it off each other on YouTube. Every single one of us. Because everybody, you know, not literally, but I'm just saying, like, everything that you do on YouTube has been done before. So, um, I think it was called My First ASMR. I will link it below. And, um... Where's my... Okay, here we go. Um, so definitely go over and check her out and show her some love and support on her new journey in the ASMR world. Okay? And also, now, now here's a perfect example, okay? There's a young lady on YouTube um, who started mukbanging after me. And she was inspired by me. And she is so huge now. Her name is Yummy Bites TV. That's her mukbang and ASMR channel. But her her initial channel on YouTube, which she still has it, is called um, Natural Hair Obsessions. That was the first channel she had on YouTube. And, you know, she was a small YouTuber just like me. You know, we were all working hard trying to get, build our channel up. Okay. She started, she was watching me on this channel when I started doing my new Juicy Tingles channel. She started watching it, and she was like, hey, sis, she came to me, you know, on a DM or a private message or something, I don't know, and she was like, hey, sis, I'm a foodie, you know, I, I love to eat, I would love to be able to, um, to do something like that, I want, she said I wanted to try it, and I was just like giving her the thumbs up, like, go ahead, sis, yes, that's perfect, do it, do it, and she started her, she started another channel, and she called it Yummy Bites TV, and oh my God. She did her first video. She was like, sis, how did I do? I'm like, girl, you did good. Because, you know, when it's your first time, it's your first time. And I'm telling you, this, this young lady, Yummy Bites TV, who also has that Natural Obsessions hair channel, she, is, she has blown off the chain in the ASMR and mukbang world. Okay? Her muk, she mukbangs every single day. So if you're a person that likes mukbangs, go over to Yummy Bites TV. I will link her channel below as well. Um, but my point in, in, in this is to say that, you know, she didn't worry about people, um, you know, saying, oh, you just copying off of, off of, off of, uh, eyes of right now, or you just copying off a of juicy tangle. You just, you know, she didn't worry about that. And, um, so I commend anybody do what you feel like you want to do. You're never going to do it exactly like the next person. So you can do exactly what somebody else doing and add your little, you know, your little, um, your, your little talents and personality in it, which would make it totally different. So even though she's eating like I was, her, her stuff is way different. Like her thumbnails are awesome. Like, like she got on, like she got on there and she, she blew it up. Okay. Like she get over $10,000, 10,000 views per video or more on her mukbang channel. And, and like I said, she started after me. So it's not about whether whether you taught somebody how to do something or whether you inspired somebody to do something. You ever been on a job and they bought it a new person? This isn't a perfect example. That's why you got to be genuine when you're trying to help people because you can help somebody and they could end up growing bigger than you. You can encourage somebody to do something that you're doing 
and they may want to do it and you could encourage them and cheer them on and they can end up being better to, better than you and doing better than you. But if you if you did it from your heart, you understand what I'm saying? If you genuinely help that person, then it's not going to bother you that they have grown past you. You're going to feel proud that they you inspired them and now they're big. Like, I, that warms my heart. Now, it might make some people jealous and angry and hurtful, but that doesn't bother me at all. I love to see people... Um, and get inspired by me and end up moving forward. Um, so here's a perfect example. You're working on a job. Some of you all may have experienced this, okay? You've been, let's just say, for example, you've been on the job five years, okay? You're like the top uh, person that when they have new people to come on a job, they get you to train them because you're so good at what you do. Okay, so let's say you're 40, 45 years old. You've been on this particular job five years. You are doing really well. They bring in this 25-year-old girl. They have you to train her because they generally get you to train the new people because you're good. And they want the people to imitate or, you know, use you as an example or learn from how you do things because your way of doing things is, 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 is a good example. You train this person, okay? This person starts, you know, working. And they may even come to you a little bit for a couple weeks, you know, to ask you questions because you're the person that trained them. So when they need help, they're going to go to you. Eventually, this person gets good at what you taught them. And they even get better at what you taught them. And they get so much better at what you taught them that the big bosses is noticing it and decides to make them a supervisor. Okay. Now, you're 40 years old. How old did I say you were? 40, 45 years old? You've been there five years. You're, you're like, you know, head of the group that you work for, but you're not a supervisor. So, you trained her, and she ends up being your supervisor. Okay? You trained this young lady, and she ends up being your supervisor. How are you going to feel about that? Put it in the comment section below because that's very interesting. But that's why I say women are, are catty and, you know, things like that would not bother me. Seriously, things like that would not bother me. That would make me feel so proud that the person that I trained mastered it, did well, and started climbing. Because at the end of the day, which, what is for you is for you. So you don't have to ever be jealous of anybody's success or anybody, you know, growing or, or, or moving past you. Come on now, we're here to climb, you know, we're here to, we're all trying to reach the same goal, and that's the goal of, of success, and whether it be, you be successful on YouTube, whether you be successful um, in your own personal life, whether you be successful as an arch entrepreneur, we should all be, be rooting for each other to, to grow and be successful in whatever we do. So, that's my point in shouting out these young ladies. So, to Pink Nini, I, 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 I say to you, um, says go for it, okay? Don't matter about the haters, you're going to get haters. It's just going to happen, okay? Don't worry about that, okay? Because if you worry about them, then you're going to, you're, they're going to stunt your growth and you're going to stunt your own growth. So get out that box. Do you. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get. And I'm telling you, you're going to grow, okay? You might grow past some, some, some other people out there just from doing ASMR. You never know. So just do you, and I, I encourage anybody that's interested in doing ASMR or mukbang, do it, please. It's very, it's getting very, very, very popular now. I see a lot of people that have started. Listen, Lyric Rochester, y'all know Lyric Rochester. She was also known as the, the Jamaican makeup artist. I was so shocked. She did a video within this last week, and it had mukbang in the title, and I was like. Oh my God, I was so proud. I was so proud of her. I, I love when people step into different arenas. So, so Lyric Rochester did her first mukbang video. I'll link that below. So, yeah, so it's all about uplifting people and not trying to uh, prey on people's downfall and all that bullshit, okay? So hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you go over to my Makeup for Dummies channel and see that huge makeup haul that I did. And I also did a Dollar Tree haul over on my Juicy Tingles channel. All my YouTube channels will be listed in the description box. And um, I will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll feel better, girl. I'm sorry I sounded a little down, but...
it's real life. <laughs> I gotta give y'all me, and this is me today. Okay? Girl, bye. <laughs>